fail. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Samsung Galaxy S8 Review, how does it fare six months later? The Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus are among the best flagship smartphones launched this year. Samsung has done a really good job with these two, right from the edge to edge near bezel-less design, to top-of-the-line hardware and more. We reviewed both smartphones earlier this year in May, and were completely pleased with the performance, cameras and software features. Now, five months later, it is time to look again at how the smartphone holds up. The Galaxy S8 was launched for Rs 57,990, however, after the recent price cut, you can now get one for just Rs 53,900. I had reviewed the Samsung Galaxy S8 earlier, and after being pleased with the performance, I instantly made my purchase. And now, after using it as a daily driver since May, here's my long-term review to look back and see how well it fares. Cosmetics, you better put a cover on it. Sure, the front and back curved glass design looks appealing. Even after the launch of LG V30, Huawei Mate 10 and Apple iPhone X to name a few, the Galaxy S8 looks stunning. However, that comes at a cost. Firstly, the smooth front and back glass make the smartphone very slippery. There were a number of moments when it was close to slipping out of my hands. Luckily, my reflexes always saved. Now, even though Corning claims that Gorilla Glass 5 is stronger and more resistant to scratches, the truth is completely the opposite. A friend who owns a Galaxy S8 Plus, happened to drop the phone from knee level and the screen was left shattered. In my case, even though I didn't drop it, the front and the back managed to attract a couple of nasty scuffs. This is despite taking proper care and ensuring I don't keep the phone on hard surfaces or keep anything else in the pocket, such as keys. The scuffs are not easily visible, but are noticeable from an angle. While I am completely against applying a screen guard and using a case, getting one might be a good idea to safeguard your device. performance on par, but. During the initial review period, even a budget Android device performs well, but it is the test of time that tells how capable the device really is. Android smartphones, whether budget or top-end, tend to slow down and lag after a few months. This is mostly the result of the number of apps you install, cache among others. Most of the time that I've had the Galaxy S8, it has lived up to expectations. However, there were moments where it struggled. At times, when you really need it the most, there used to be a lag of 2-3 seconds, right from unlocking the device to opening an app. In fact, sometimes the apps force close too. Let's take an example of the camera, 
I see something interesting I want to capture, I pull the phone out of my pocket, and start the camera app. Between me pressing the shutter and the photo saving in the gallery, there was a delay of 4 seconds. And the photo turned out to be blurry. So, if you want to quickly capture a fast moving object, you can't really rely on it every time. cameras, the ones you can count on. At the time of buying the Galaxy S8, I was clear that I wanted the smartphone with the best camera. And sure enough, Samsung has equipped the Galaxy S8 with one of the best cameras on a smartphone this year. I had gone on a vacation to Malaysia and Singapore for 10 days. This time, I completely ditched my DSLR and went ahead with my Galaxy S8, and the Galaxy Note 8 that I was reviewing. Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus Camera Review After 6 Months 12MP camera is the best on a smartphone thanks to new improvements. Snaps better low light photos and video OIS is smoother than last gen. The camera app enables faster snapping, even if the camera launcher shortcut has moved to a less convenient location. If you're looking for the best camera in a smartphone, you should buy the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy S8 Plus right now. Samsung's competition has a lot to live up to. Sure, everything seems to be the same as on the Galaxy S7 Edge on the surface, the main camera has a 12MP sensor with dual pixel autofocus, a fast f 1.7 aperture and it captures large 1.4 micrometers pixels. All identical to the last phone, right? Not exactly. While the sensor size is the same, both the chip and the technology behind it offer better low-light photos, thanks to multi-frame image processing. The Galaxy S8 is also water and dust resistant, and I've taken it for a swim and also inside a jacuzzi, and it's survived. The addition of Samsung Pay feature is a blessing, wherever possible, I use my Galaxy S8 to tap and pay, and it also eliminates the need for carrying your credit and debit cards around. Samsung also rolled out Bixby Voice, AI-based virtual assistant which is not only promising, but also has advanced features, compared to Google Assistant and Siri. You may not use it often, but it's good to know you have the option. So, at the current price tag of $700, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is still a worthy purchase if you are looking for an all-rounder of a smartphone with a very capable camera.
Have you ever felt? Are you listening? <laughs>